City have received a transfer offer from Valencia in the La Liga. And I mean, it's a very tempting offer because Valencia is a rather okay team. I mean, they're a lot okayer than SC Braga, if I want to be sure. But I'm just going to stall this offer because I feel like there might be another one coming on soon. So, I mean, even if we lose this offer, I'm pretty sure another team is going to come. I mean, why seven seven rated? 17 year old striker i mean who the fuck does he want us we played six matches and we scored only two goals that is the worst form that i have ever been on and that's the definition of bad form not that shit they were giving me at dortmund but let's see if we can claw our way out of this form we are coming in in the 56th minute for Medeiros, and i think i have just realized what the formation is it's a striker and two supporting strikers under him, like an RF and an LF. And then there's the striker on top. Yeah, I think I might have gotten that. But let's just hope we can get a goal. I mean, we have a lot of time to play in this match. Let's just hope we can get a goal and finally start our journey to be the top scorer in the world. Juncture. Where we've been told to get a match rating of 7.5, get a short conversion rate of 65, and take four shots on target. I am not going to enhance the new one because I really do not want to, but I'm looking to enhance the one with the match rating. So let's see what we can do in this match. It's going their way, 2 0. Fran Sergio Ruiz. The cross is on, it's got to be, and there it is, another goal, and surely there's no way back from this now. Well, here it is again, the through ball is absolutely inch perfect, and he makes no mistake with the finish, he showed a lot of composure there. Probably just a case of whether it's enough now, although I'm not sure it will happen immediately. Can he take the chance? A goal here, giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, here we can see it again, and the passing and movement is a joy to watch, and it makes the striker's job so easy. What he was intending, bad pass. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. Well, sometimes they come off for you, sometimes they don't, Stuart. Well, he didn't get the technique right. Well, visionary passing, and he could cash in. And a goal! If there were any remaining doubts, that will settle the issue. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great... Determined block. Pressing high to win the ball. And there it is, a goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at their best. Well, first of all, where's the defending? They're all over the place, but give him some credit. Jaquite. Now can they create something? Majestic piece of goalkeeping. Well, he loves the big moments. He has time to play it over. Well, mopping up defensively. And all right, so, yeah. We started with another annoying match. We were able to score two goals. And, well, we won the match. We got two out of the three objectives. And to be honest, I'm really not happy with this team. I just want a team that is better than Valencia to ask for an offer before I choose. To be honest, I don't even understand. We were playing, they were playing this team when I joined and then they just switched up. It's like around that 75 to 90 minutes of the match they just stop playing like they just lose all hope to win the match thank god i scored those two goals because that team we just played against were so close to like would have scored two goals if not that the players are also bad <laughs> anyhow 
I'm just happy that we're able to score two goals in this match. And I did not also notice that we are now in the starting 11 for this team. And finally, let's see what formation they use. And it is 3 4 2 1. I mean, I, I had an idea that was it, but I was not sure. So let's see what we got. We're playing our. Oh, Jesus. Why, 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 why the hell are we playing RM? We are freaking better than two of your strikers that are out there and we're playing freaking RM. Oh, Jesus, what do these guys want from me? What do these guys want from me, to be honest? Our camera lens trained on one man. Amid rumors that he's leaving the club, he starts today live on EA TV. And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player. Stuart All right, so our, our objective for this match is the 9.0 rating. Avoid, avoid, avoid losing the match, either win or draw it, and then have three shots on target. I mean, it should be easy enough, so I'm just going to enhance this particular one. And, well... Let's see what happens in this match. Is the big question. Defending. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think? Opportunity! Again, the woodwork! The ball. Abel Rui. He's enjoying space. Giving it a try. Can they keep it out? Oh, denied once more. And a fine stop. The crowd sense the momentum is with them. They've created chance after chance. Can they capitalize here? Bender doing his job. To jump in front. Oh, wonderful save. Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. Corner kick played in. The clearance wasn't decisive. Well, nothing untoward happened. And plenty of room in the wide area. Well, it could be on for him here. On his own with only the keeper to beat, but he's missed it, Stuart. Well, he went for power, but he didn't make the perfect connection. That's why he's missed the target there. On the first defender, but he didn't succeed. And a useful cross, foiling them effectively. Looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Can he convert? And a really good diving stop. Well, they haven't created. An awful lot of green space to run into. Must be. Oh, tremendous goal. Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And it makes the strike. Just the clearance that was needed. Well, many have wondered if they would get it over the line in terms of the deal. They've succeeded, Stuart. Well, certainly a lot of focus on the boy over the last year or two. And Superb stop. It's opening up for them. Opportunity, it's in. They're looking really relaxed and top. Mm. Carlos. Can they convert? And a goal! He's doubled his total for the day. It's superb scoring for him. 
Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, and he makes no mistake. Oh, even. How can he take them on and beat them? Font. And a goal to delight the fans. Just what they were hoping for. Well, as the replay shows us, this is the way to beat tight marking. Just look how he turns with the ball. That's a fantastic goal, you have to say. Well, flinging himself at the ball. He read it well defensively. It might be perfectly set up for the counter-attack, you know. Real chance. And a goalkeeper on top of his game. Well, it's great goalkeeping. What a big save that is. Hopped up with it. Zan. Opportunity it is. Oh, marvellous save. Great goalkeeping. And a short corner, let's see. And he takes on the shot. In it goes! It looked as though they were down and out. Not a bit of it. What will happen next? Well, here you can see it again. It's a superb cross, just asking for someone to go and meet it. But when he shoots, I expected him to go across the goalkeeper. He should never beat the goalkeeper inside that near post. That's not good keeping. And there All right. Goes... All I have to say about this match is that I'm tired. <laughs> I mean, I keep on scoring in these matches here, yeah, and I'm still not happy because the team is freaking losing. Like, what are we even supposed to... Like, what are these guys? Like, how are they so bad? They are literally fourth position on the league, and they are so bad. I mean, there's really nothing that I can do for this team because they're... Like, the first thing the manager does is to play me in a right midfielder position when I am way better than the current striker and he's <laughs> why did he buy me if he was going to do this shit because I really do not understand why I was in the first team and I did not get to play in my position I played in some bullshit position that doesn't make any fucking sense all right so we have just gone in, into level 14 and we have eight of the skill points so let's see what we can really do I mean we can get this maestro archetype right right now we can get this links archetype right now but if i do that i would have just two left so i might just i'm actually just go for it if you ask me i might let you just go for it because i actually really need it so i just got the links archetype and that means we now have two archetypes what's next is i think i should pretty much work on my shooting because i I really I really need good shot power so I'm just going to oh, I don't even have enough skill points for this so I'm just going to work my finishing more and next is this the finisher archetype I mean that's going to be really crazy because our finishing is on 88 right now so imagine we get this finisher archetype that is going to be 96 finishing and that is absolutely wild we are still a 77 overall for some reason I mean I, I would have thought that we would have grown because of what we just did but no we are in starting 11 let's see what the manager is going to he's still giving me this same fucking position bro the uh kids are clashing so we should probably just get this i, <clears throat> I can't believe he just gave us the same freaking position to play again and the only player they're only five players if i'm correct that are better than me in this team and that is just bad we are getting our play time in dortmund and we come to this shit team and we're getting bullshit you know what before i start this match all right so i just checked and the valencia offer has expired so i'm just going to hope another club tries to buy me because if they do I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to request a transfer offer at the end of the season because i cannot do it in this club to be honest i'm just going to try my best to get my name out there that's the mission right now get our name out there 
and then the man of the moment is he leaving the club well he starts this game and we're live on EA TV apparently I'm just a PSV is trying to buy me I'm definitely not going to PSV because I I want a good team I want a really good team I do not want to face PSV I didn't look at the match objectives that was an accident I accidentally skipped it so oh we are supposed to get a what a 9.0 rating okay and they complete five passes in the opponent's half then avoid a win or a draw well this one should be pretty easy it's just the i really hope that these guys don't fuck me up in this match to be honest so. coaches and their methods but it's now down to the players which ones are going to stand out who will affect the game and who will have the greater desire it should be a cracking game though being pressed and pressed high well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, oh, Stuart. Oh, big shots here, Derek. Oh, a save right out of the top drawer. Superstop. Sequeira. Fran Sergio. Will it be? It's still alive. Well, the goalkeeper tremendously go strong in the tackle. Ellis. Beautifully weighted ball. And there it is, the breakthrough. That will do nicely. Yeah. Can he take the chance? And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. And now the delivery. And a bit short with the clearance. Ball is loose. Punched away. And a goal at the second time of asking. But the keeper has let his team down. Well, when you look at this again, there's two things wrong defensively about this. First of all, the goalkeeper should not be parrying it into a dangerous area. And the defenders have to be sharper to get to the knockdown. It's not... G. Crossing opportunity, in position. And the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. And that's a corner. Fran Sergio. Ali Musrati. At times they make passing look easy. Quick ball to perhaps catch them out. No way through. Fran Sergio, Ruiz, Busrati. Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? Oh, that's really high class goalkeeping. <laughs> and that is the end of the contest, and not a happy outcome as far as the visitors are concerned. Well, Derek, they were certainly off the pace today. Beaten to the ball in too many key areas. They need to refocus now and perform better next time out. To be honest, I don't even know what to say because this was just the worst match I have ever played ever. And to be honest, this team that I'm in is not giving me any vibe at all to play matches because this was just absolute bullshit what just happened in this match because like this sc braga team are complete like they're completely fucked up on so many levels like they're just useless to be honest they're just completely useless they can't defend they can't attack it's really not my fault because if it was my fault i won't be scoring any goals in dortmund but these guys are just oh my god they're like irritating on so many freaking levels I'm, I'm just going to like play one more match and let's just see how that goes we have an offer for ps from psv i don't want to go to psv because i cannot deal with this whole thing all over again so let's just try and get our training up if this manager is playing us in that position then sorry but i'm going to play the match if you want to play us in that stupid ass position i'm not going to play the match because that position like i cannot do anything in that position at all 
I, I literally cannot do shit in that position. And he just did. Local played the match and we'll sim through it. And yeah, we, we get the win. I do not score, I really do not care. But it's just completely annoying if you ask me. There's a transfer offer from Burnley. This is actually a good opportunity to go to the Premier League. And yes, Burnley is in the Premier League, so I'm going to be accepting this offer in at the end of the transfer window. I will sorry, at the end of this season, I will be going to the Premier League and that is where I just want to stay to be honest. I ha I'm actually very, very shocked that SC Braga is still in wait, how is the season almost over? Because there's still a couple matches to go, but we're really close. Just wanted to inform you that I've selected you for the inclusion in Germany squad for the upcoming international friendly matches, Ireland and Finland. We will contact representatives from SE Braga to confirm the exact dates. They will need to they will need to make you available to us. Okay, the World Cup is actually coming up, and I re I really want to be in that in that competition because. I would start at 17. I mean, it's only two players that have scored in the World Cup Finals. And what if Germany get to the World Cup Finals? That would be really good. So I have to really be at my best at this club, which is actually a very, very hard thing to do. Because I don't even know how our form is going to excel. Because we've played 10 matches and we've scored 6 goals, which is actually really good. I mean, it's, not, it's nothing compared to what we had at Dortmund. But it's still something. I do not want to play as a right midfielder because this game is fucked up so I cannot play as a right midfielder so if if the manager still decides to play us there I'm just going to keep simming matches because I really cannot play in that position Abel Ruiz scored a hat-trick and whoever the other last guy scored uh, if I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that if I play in these matches then they would be absolutely doing shit because their play on the uh, field is just bullshit we're going to be playing this match with germany and let's see the difference let's actually see the difference between what we actually do in this match and what we've been doing in braga we are playing striker because this this is the manager that has sense he sees a striker 77 rated i am better than your main striker and you are freaking playing me as a right midfielder who the fuck does that like, really, who the fuck does that? Whew, I'll be playing this match and I'll talk to you guys after it's over. Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And if the game is as enticing on the pitch as it looks on paper... Alright, so our match objectives are to get a 7.5 routine, take three shots on target, and... Get at least one goal or assist this is going to be really easy because i mean we're playing we're, we're finally playing our position with a good team like germany so there really isn't a lot that we are lacking right now <clears throat> well threat over for now zan I always think, Stuart, with Tony Kroos, we're talking about a player who's absolutely brimming with quality. Oh, Derek, what a moment this could be. Well, they just couldn't make it happen. And fed forwards. And the keeper getting across to stop it. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. There's plenty of know-how in the ball shielding department. Tony Kroos. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Can he put them in front? Oh, no, he's missed the opportunity. And they remain level. Well, he just lacked composure there, didn't he? They should be ahead now. Coleman. Cutting the ball back and thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. And there it is. 
the opening goal, 1-0, and they'll feel they deserve it. Tremendous intuition to win it back. And the pass could do damage. And a goal! An end-to-end -end game, and they weren't behind for long. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great... Alright, so my recording stopped, but before I even do that, I got a 10, a 10 point match rating because I scored a second goal that was able to get us the win. And just. And I just want you guys to see the goal. It was actually a corner, and then Cruz gave the ball to me, and I just ran and scored the goal like that. Anyways, that was the first match I ever played for Jeremy and I got him and I got the man of the match award. That just means that we are absolutely good. I I don't know why the SE brother manager is there. I absolutely hate that guy's face so much right now. Anyways, we're able to get the man of the match. We got all three of the manager's objectives. The Germans manage the Germany manager's objectives, not the SE Braga manager's objectives. I don't care about SE Braga at all because right now I'm a Burnley player and I've I honestly don't mind not playing any match for SC Braga again because I really, I, I really, really absolutely hate what they are doing, and I know Burnley is going to be a top task, but I mean it's it's one step closer to getting into another big team again. We are once in Dortmund, and are we going to be able to get back into the grand stage? And we want to be making performances like this, and we can only do that in big teams. And I just felt like Burnley was the perfect team to get that exposure again. So this is the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Why is an SC Braga back there?